Okay, if you're not ready yet, we'll grab your friends and get ready because you can help save lives on this National Wear Red Day by helping raise awareness about cardiovascular disease. We are here live with Dr. Joyce Unchow and Francine LaRusso from the Heart and Vascular Center at Yale New Haven Health. Nice to have both of you ladies with us in studio. Thank you for having us. This is an important conversation to be had. Hopefully we are going to... Uh, Teach a lot to our viewers, but also remind ourselves why it is so important to take care of ourselves. Let's start with today, what it's all about and the main purpose. So we're excited to be here. Today is Wear Red Day, as we you know, are here, and American Heart Association, um, this is their centennial year wow. to celebrate the Heart Association, and it's the 20th year for bringing awareness to women. And Wear Red Day is the start of the whole month, and so when you think about the difference, it's the number one killer for women is heart disease. Mm -hmm. And there is a significant difference between the symptoms from a man and a woman. Let's talk about that, the mm -hmm. differences. So for a man, a woman, you will see, you know, nausea, shortness of breath. But a woman a lot of times presents with achiness, fatigue, mm -hmm. and not necessarily chest pain. A man traditionally has chest pain. So women have a tendency to minimize the symptoms, which we shouldn't. And really the Heart Association, they have a website with the information around what those heart attack symptoms are. If you have them, you really should be calling 911. Yeah, and this graphic here on the screen is really showing the difference in symptoms, men versus women. And I think women, you know, as a society, History has proven that we are just go, 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 right? Yeah. We are always worrying about taking care of our parents, taking care of our children, our spouses, our loved ones, but we often forget to take care of ourselves. So it's important to know the signs, know the symptoms, and as you mentioned, call 911. Doctor, let's talk about that more mm -hmm. and uh, how women are so impacted uh, by cardiovascular disease. Yeah. So. As we were talking about, there's, women can actually have a whole range of heart disease. Not only the heart attack with the plaque but, um, blocking up the arteries, but they have other things uh, such as like high pressure, high blood pressure, mm -hmm. which causes high pressure in the heart. Their symptoms will be like shortness of breath, a little bit of chest heaviness, not normally the elephant sitting in the chest kind of thing. And so um, a lot of times women will also just get fatigued when they're having the symptoms of either blockages or that high pressure. And you know, they say, oh, it's allergies. Oh, I'm just tired, I didn't sleep well. And so they kind of put it off. And I've had many patients who come in maybe three or four days later not having known that they either had a heart attack or some sort of, or have been in heart failure the whole like weak. Wow, and mm -hmm. while the emphasis is on women, you know, we always say it's important for everyone, women and men, to know the risks, uh, to know their numbers, mm -hmm. and to get checkups, Correct. annual checkups. I mean, you just said it, you see people put that off or not think it's necessary. Yeah. How do you encourage your patients or people maybe watching right now to yeah. take care of your personal health? Yeah, so actually the American Heart Association has a really great movement right now. Um, it's called the uh, Life Essential, the eight life essentials, and it basically helps people to get heart healthy. Mm -hmm. So one of the things is to eat right. So try to mm -hmm. avoid those high um, cholesterol foods, yeah. the high carb foods, high fatty foods, try to avoid that. Eat more lean proteins such as fish and chicken and a lot of vegetables. The other thing is to be active, yeah. to be as active as possible. Exercise like we just saw um, on the last segment, but also just keep moving. Don't stop moving, don't be sedentary. Another thing is if you smoke, you gotta try to cut back on the smoking. Mm -hmm. Every cigarette you smoke raises your blood pressure by about 10 to 20 points wow. for about yeah. two hours That's after scary. each cigarette. Wow. The other thing is sleep. Sleep is so important because Ooh, if we're not that. getting, yeah, <laughs> if we're not getting enough sleep, our metabolism slows down. Sure. We're not able to, you know, the body's not able to rest and recover as right. well. Wow, all good signs. And yeah. I know the heart is the most important muscle. Quickly, before we had to break, because we do have to go there now, I do want to make mention of this wonderful event, the Greater New Haven Go Red for Women event. It's happening February 7th, mm -hmm. so that's Wednesday. Wednesday. A yeah. great event, and you can learn more by visiting our website, WTNH.com. We thank both of you for your time this morning, obviously for what you do, and you do bringing awareness to the cause. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.